one of the things as well for for fear is there's some very specific effects. And fortunately, gee, they spent a lot of time in the seals making sure that you guys were very aware of these effects and how to deal with them. Yeah, so fear comes from, like there's actually a, an understandable uh, cause of fear in our brains. They come from a part of our brains called the amygdala, which is like the survival portion of our brain. It's also uh, this survival portion of our brain is connected to memory, mm -hmm. right? It writes memories that you won't forget. Right, whether it's a car accident or seeing someone die, or like you experience, like you had an encounter with a bear yes, yeah. or a shark, right? Like where you almost got eaten. You'll never forget those moments, right? And you felt a lot of fear in that moment. And it was kind of like it created a strong memory for you. What's happening is the part of your brain, which is fight or flight, mm -hmm. which is the amygdala, um, is taking over your brain. And you're not thinking logically, your brain is thinking survive. Mm -hmm. And I need to either fight or run. Adrenaline's going to start pumping. Um, again, your, your, your brain's memory maker of to like to memorize what's happening goes into like overdrive. All of these things start happening when you feel situations that make you feel fear. And this is called amygdala hijack. What they would teach us in the military is that the amygdala, it's a part of our brain for basically when we're unprepared. Right. right. If, if we're That's prepared, mm. if we're prepared for a situation, the amygdala won't serve us. Mm. Right. If you were like, say you, let's just keep using the grizzly bear. Right. If you were prepared and equipped for fighting the grizzly bear and you had thought about this beforehand, when you come into this time that you're in the arena or the grizzly bear, you don't want your adrenaline pumping. You don't want your lack of a logical center happening. What you do want to be is in the, the reasoning mm. and decision making part of your brain not the fight or flight part of your brain. You also lose when you're in amygdala hijack, you use lose function of like your digits, mm. your fingers, like yeah. your fingers don't work very well. Like all these strange things happen to you in amygdala hijack. And they would teach us this and teach us how to overcome amygdala hijack because there's a lot of times you are feeling fear. It's like, okay, I've got to, how do I overwrite my biology in this moment? Mm. Now I love that you pointed out that it's there only for things you're not prepared for because- Right, yeah, because I mean, if you're unprepared, haven't, you know, the amygdala is going to help you survive better than you would just on your own, right? Because it's going to make you react really quickly and that adrenaline is going to happen. However, if I want to be like, there's a level of control that you have that's better than what your amygdala can do. Yes. Basically in like, it's a very simple set of code, yeah. right? But you can, if you're prepared, can outperform your amygdala. Right. And so when you are prepared, you need to know that the amygdala will try to turn itself back on and you need to know how to turn it off. Yeah. And, and that's such an interesting, um, it, that, I think that that's like the ultimate definition of fear right there. Or the ultimate effect or symptom of fear. It's like, yeah, it's going to keep you alive, but you're going to be a lot less than you could be. Yeah. And so there's like, there's, we won't go into like the deep of it and I'm not a doctor, but there's like negative biological effects that happen be because of that amygdala hijack. But what happens to us today is people don't, people don't really have the use for it the way right. that they did Big in the time. past, yeah. right? Like people aren't having, unless you're in the national park, people aren't having encounters with bears. People aren't having uh, encounters with life or death situations where the amygdala is relevant other than a car accident. Yeah. Right. And it's not super relevant in those situations either. Like it is a life or death accident, but the amygdala hijack doesn't really serve you. And so we need to be able to overwrite that or move past it. Yeah. No, that's good, man. I'm glad. I appreciate you going into this, the science of that a little bit. So, so basically what we're saying to you is that fear is a lie. Like there's that great quote by Mark Twain. I spent, <laughs> I've spent a great, in my life, I've known a great many fears, most of which never came true. And I, th I, I think that's so important. And let's, let's think about this. Like you could go down right now and think of an individual fear in your life. Like, I mean, I said the shark thing, guess what, dude, I spent hundreds of hours, if not thousands surfing in my life. I never even saw a shark to your yep. point, but how many times did I have my enjoyment robbed because of it? Lots, which is stupid. And there's plenty of other ones. I could do that personally. Let's you start, you start imagining like you're paddling in and yeah. the sharks behind you. Yeah. Like I'm going to get you oh, I'm looking back. Oh, was that something in the water? It's there's always stuff glimmering in the water. It's, yeah. it's just ridiculous. But anyways, Let's look at things, not for people that like live in Idaho their whole life. They're like, bro, we don't surf. Um, but like for people, everyone can relate to this depending on, on how old you are. Well, we don't surf anymore either. We so. don't. Yeah. In my head, I do, man. Uh, why, same. Y2K? We don't, we don't have a sad sound, but this is oh, yeah. a good wah, time. Wah, wah, wah. It's a good yeah. time for a sad sound. All right, dude. I got to edit that in there. Anyways. <laughs> but yeah, Y2K, anybody? World was going to end. We got through it. 2008, global recession. Got through it. A lot of people did actually really well out of it. 2020, global pandemic. Here we are. We talked about it. You know, a lot of mental health, a lot of fear. 
you know, and, th- and there's, there's always things that you can point to, but here we are right now it, uh, at the time of recording the is S- SVB Silicon Valley bank. Yeah. The, Sil- the SVB Silicon Valley bank, just one of the biggest banks in America. Yeah. Now not relevant to most people because they banked with a small select uh, group of people out of Mountain View, uh, a lot of venture funds, but Silicon Valley bank, one of the 10 biggest banks in the country crashed. Yeah. So, so ask yourself this. Do you want to start getting future based and have your amygdala take over? So you start losing you know what else? You your know, best happened this year. We, we crossed the threshold that Greta Thunberg said was, you know, the world's going to end. Yeah. <laughs> in yeah. 2018, she said uh, in 2023, like, you know, a extreme climate disaster, everyone's going to die. Right. Well, <laughs> Hey, it's only March G. Okay. But <laughs> you know, but like, the, I hope you guys are seeing the point. These are all things that we, these are big global events that all had huge stories of fear and none of which came true. Like Mark Twain, like Mark Twain said, now I know some people will probably argue that about COVID. They'll argue that about 2008 Were there, was there more adversity, more difficulty? Oh, hundred percent. But was it the, was it what they laid out? I'm sure. I'm sure we have people who listen to this podcast that had a, you know, a friend or yeah. a relative die from COVID. Yeah. And we definitely, we don't want to be disrespectful to that, but, but the, at the outset of it, the amount of uncertainty and some of the portraits that were being portrayed that this was like going to change the face of the earth. The, p- the point is, is an outsized level of fear in, yes. a, in accordance with the activity. Yeah. And that's the point we're making. You, you have to, when you start to know fear and you are able to recognize it, you'll start to apply that filter of it's future based and you'll start to realize this is lying to me and it's robbing me of abilities that I have that will actually enable me to overcome this the way that I want to. Like you talked about in your amygdala example, if your fingers aren't working and you're a Navy SEAL in close quarters combat, that's a problem, right? And while most people listening to this will never experience that, that, you know, there's other areas in your life where you don't want to be losing what would be the equivalent of, you know, your fingers. You don't want to lose your best, uh, your best capabilities and abilities whenever you're in a situation when you need them. So, so these, it, the same thing happens, like the amygdala hap, hijack happens on a micro scale, like a short amount, a short, short time period, like seconds and minutes. But uh, it, we actually also experience it in a longer time. Like, okay, you, you're having fears about your business. You're having fears about your family. You're having fears about your marriage. It also degrades your performance, Mm. right? When, when all, when you spend all of your time thinking about how your business is going to fail, right? Of course it's an op that's an option for anybody. Like some of the biggest companies in the world and look at them in history, like, you know, companies that were the biggest company in the world, they fail, right? Like businesses fail, right? You don't need to think about, spend all your time thinking about how your business is going to fail. You spend your time thinking about how your business is going to succeed. Yes. But if you are so concerned with fear all of the time, you're going to be, it's like amygdala hijack. You're going to be in low performance, which is perpetuating you closer to actually failing. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's the Henry Ford. Like, like we talked about back, uh, you know, at the end of 22, we were talking about 2023 yes. and it's still true for some people. This is going to be the best year that they ever had. Yes. And it's not the people who've spent all their time being afraid of this year. 